grandmother who says she cooks with cannabis to ease her depression has been found guilty of growing and possessing the drug. More on that, more on the day's news. place finally closed for the night. Maddie and Raquel closed the bar. Becky went home alone. Penny was long gone. Yolanda and Terry settled their differences. And Pippa went home with Teddy and Nancy. It had been one hell of a day. A dead body in the hot tub, girl drama in the bathroom, and one of my friends might be a murderer. These were the thoughts going through Teddy's mind as she woke up. Her mouth felt dry and sandy. She rolled over and quietly got out of bed. Nancy was snoring, and based on the alcohol Teddy saw her drink last night, she wouldn't be getting up any time soon. As Teddy pulled on her robe, she grabbed her stash bag and headed out the back door onto the deck. She exhaled. Ah, she chanted, taking in the view. Her backyard bordered an almost empty lake bed, now filled with cattails, lily pads, and purple hyacinths. What a beautiful Florida morning. It was a little chilly outside, 60 degrees according to the outdoor thermometer hanging on the sliding glass door that led to the living room. The living room, where Pippa was sleeping on the couch. Pippa could smell something. She wasn't quite awake, but her senses were picking up something. Hmm. A song swam in her head. Marijuana, sweet marijuana. She opened her eyes and saw Teddy sitting on the deck. Time to wake and bake, she smiled to herself. Pulling the covers from the couch around her, she shuffled onto the deck and joined Teddy. Teddy was prepared for this. She handed a bone to Pippa. Spark it up, she said. You got it, responded Pippa. As the two sat and communed with God, they watched a red-tailed hawk swoop down and snatch a fish out of the shallow lake. It was amazing. It flew up to a nearby cypress tree, gray and ghostly with moss hanging from its limbs. The hawk devoured its meal. They watched for nearly 45 minutes as the majestic bird ate the fish it had caught. So, Pippa, started Teddy, what happened with that John guy last night who came in with the swingers? Who? Big John? Well, she inhaled. After he and the women with him went into the gazebo and they were done doing whatever they were doing in there, they decided to play hide and go seek. Okay. You should have seen him. It was like trying to sink a cheerio. Cheerio, yo. Say what? He was trying to hide inside the hot tub, and he kept floating up, and we couldn't get the top to stay down, like a Cheerio in a bowl when you try and eat them, you know? Yeah, yeah, Teddy replied. She was dumbfounded. She just sat there. Then she heard her dogs inside barking. They must have been barking for some time because she could see Nancy was up and headed for the front door. Nancy returned from answering the front door. She stepped outside onto the deck with Pippa and Teddy. Nancy cleared her throat and said, <coughs> The police are at the door to talk to you, Pippa. She turned around, went back inside, and back to bed. If this was a musical, you would have heard the ominous music playing. Dum, da dum, dum, dum. On the front porch stood Detective Owens. Five foot eight, solidly built, 250-pound African-American with curly short hair and muscles she couldn't hide if she wanted to. She wondered who this Pippa character was that she was supposed to be bringing in today. Well, she was about to find out that and more. To be continued. More on that, more on the day's news.